Welcome back to Railroads Online. Early access. Still early access. So we're going to load up our game here. So here's the uh, find the player. Most of them are, are locked like we do. Um, some of them, yeah, you can get in, but they'll usually boot you right out. <laughs> sort of thing, right? So, because uh, they don't want you in. Because you can mess up their whole thing there if you get in there. I think it's full control over everything. But, you know, we'll go to host. I'm not going to put a server name. It's going to... That's my password. Well, that's... Just a random password. It'll be different all the time. Okay, we'll start up here. Now, this is going to be loud. Just anybody with earphones, just pull them off for a second until we load in here. I don't know why it does it. Boom, boom! It gives you one of those things. Pull your earphones off. I don't know why it does that. I'm sorry. That's hopefully something they'll get rid of. <laughs> Shouldn't be, like, doing that to people. All right, so we got our cars all hooked up. Um, we lots of wood. We gotta get some water here. All right, so we're just gonna make sure. Oh, we're actually pulling ahead here. Well, that's okay too, actually. Not a safe thing, but uh, make sure these are all off. Yeah, locked. And off. We'll get some water before we go. We're gonna go down and do some loads of lumber today. Get the lumber cleared up, and then uh, maybe some beams, coupler, and that's. We must be off. Everything must be. Off. I just want to check the couplers because it happens. I don't know why all of a sudden you'll have a derailment or something, or it unhooks her, and off she goes. But let's uh, let's get down here now. We should really. Uh, now we're going back the other way. We should really get a line up the side here too to feed our firewood. We've got lots of firewood yet there, so we're not really worried about it right yet. But let's pull ahead here. Holy, what happened there? Um, Yeehaw! Wow. <laughs> I don't know what on earth happened there, but at least it didn't end up over the other side of the map. Apparently the train is going, though. Uh, not good. Oh, and I might be stuck over here. That's interesting. There's, there we go. Oh, we're still stuck over here. Okay, hey, that's weird. That's why we call it a bug. Early access stuff, that's called a bug. Alright, I don't know why it's not going to re-rail for me. Uh, we might have to restart here. Whew, that thing's loud. Eh? It's just going full throttle, too. I didn't hardly touch anything there. And uh, I think we're just going to restart here. Okay, so let's uh, restart. Okay, saved you the boom. We're going to load back in here. Hopefully it doesn't do that again. That was kind of cool, though. I got ejected out of the train. It must have blew the boiler or something. Anyways, I, I'm going to presume everything's still fine there. So we're just going to pull ahead. And I'm just going to go right to this screen here. Yeah, I think we're okay this time around. Let's load up the water here and uh, we can go down and get some lumber. <coughs> lumber pays the best. I kind of think that this water is a bit too close. Yeah, we might be all right there, actually. Watch the gauge going up. Yeah, slowly. Oh, there she goes. All right, while that's doing that, we'll check the fire. We've got uh, pretty good for now, I think. I don't like how you have to duck for that. I wish it was up a little higher. It's, so, like, it's like way down here, but then ducking gets you like way down there, right? So, <clears throat> Alright, we should be good. Now, another thing we're going to need eventually is a sand house. 
And that's in this guy right here. And that goes down, of course, to the track there, right? It dumps the sand on the track. We're, we're fine right now, but... All right, we got good pressure. Let's just make sure our tracks are set. I think I can see that far when it looks pretty good. Okay. Let's head her out. We'll give her about uh, 30... I'd like to go about 50, maybe. And we've got to take the brakes off. Make sure all our cars are coming. That's good. So we'll have to change... He change the switch when we come back, so we'll go into the freight yard there. <clears throat> so while we're going here, I'll talk about my other game I've been playing. And I've got myself to... Um, the point of my other game where I'm trying to get to the, the iron ore mar, iron ore mine <laughs> and you gotta go in by the sawmill there well, let me tell you it is really challenging there's a lot of mountains and stuff and I, I haven't figured out yet how to do these bridges properly I don't understand it and there's really no info on it so I don't know I watched some videos of people and their bridges and they got these great big nice immaculate bridges kind of like Kind of like these things, and it's like, I don't know how to do that. I don't know how they're doing these stone things and putting the bridge on that. I don't know if you actually got to walk down that valley to do that. I don't know how you'd keep it in line. So, I don't know how far we're going to be able to get here until I can kind of get that figured out. Alright, let's uh, slow this thing up just a little bit. Hit the switch. Hopefully jump on the back of her. That switch is going over to the freight yard. Take the expressway home and then off we go. Because, yeah, these places that we're going to be going eventually here, we're going to definitely need bridges. Like, it's insane country. Like, there's a nice big hill there. But... I'm not sure how to do the, the big bridges and stuff here, the big, the big trestle bridges and how you stretch it over a big section, I don't know. Like, you know, you can only do like so much and then it just seems to disappear again, so unless I'm doing something wrong, I don't know. I'll tell you, we got a bit of work to do before we can do that. We still got to get uh, into a bigger train anyways. Probably the next one up, which is like 5,600, I think it is. And uh, as of right now, we've only got uh, $80 to our name, so we got a long way to go. We got lots of wood to bring back and sell, though, so that's good. But uh, yeah, basically, uh, it's the iron ore mine we got to get to next. Take that to the smelter, get cord wood, and take it to the smelter. We gotta get that iron ore out of the iron ore mine and take that to the smelter to make rails and uh, pipes. And the pipes and uh, rails go to the oil field. Let's have a look here. Um, go to the oil field. Um, so you can take that to the refinery, and then the refinery goes. I think it's up to the coal mine if I'm right. Might be a little backwards and wrong on a couple of things there, but uh, we'll eventually get her figured out. We got a lot of late, a lot of track delay and bridges to do, and I'm not sure 100% yet how to do them properly. So, all right, ripping right along here. Not sure, we lost any cars? No. Nope. We got one, two, three, four, five, six. We could probably add up to ten, I think, on this one for shunting back and forth here. All right, we'll just throttle her right down here. I just want to make sure we got a... Yeah, we're going to go to the right. So that's perfect. And then... And I think i got to change that other one ahead there. It's going to go to the right again. Is that all right? No, we want to go straight. We want to go straight on this one. So I wonder if I can run ahead. Run ahead and get it. Run. So that one should be good. We gotta get this one to switch down here before the train gets down here. Oh, I don't like that little bendy thing there. I'm gonna have to try to level that out a bit. Yeah, we don't uh, we don't want to go to the right there because that'll take us through into the logging area. I'm gonna go that way, and then 
So that's why this would be nice to have a couple of people playing here. And that one is good. Yes, for there. Okay, we should be good to get right into the sawmill here. Yeah, that should be good. Okay. Hey, he's still coming. Haven't lost him yet. But I want to keep working here, getting logs, getting the wood, taking it there until uh, we at least can buy the second train. The second big train makes makes a big difference. That's the one I'm into now, and uh, it's it's quite a big uh, quite an engine. All right, coasting in. Good job, Betsy. Let's give her a little bit more. We'll let these guys know we're here. <laughs> We'll go start loading some lumber. Hopefully we go over this part. All right, we haven't tried this one again yet. But this little spur here, oh, well, it's a big turner. I might have to change that. It'll be good for when we have to go down that way to the, the iron ore mine. It's pretty wicked. We might take a walk down there today, and uh, I don't know, maybe there's a better way to go or something. Maybe I went the wrong way when I did mine, but... Uh, Maybe they want you to go down to the smelter first and then up and around. That would maybe be better. Whereas uh, I kind of went... Uh, I kind of went down through... Well, yeah, up and around left of the smelter might be better first. I kind of went straight, and then there's a big ravine there. But the iron ore mine is in that ravine, so I think you got to somehow still get down there. Okay, we'll pull in and we'll load lumber first. We'll get rid of all that. That'll be a few loads, and then we'll buy a couple more of these cars. So that'll give us six, three, six, seven, eight. I wouldn't mind ten, actually, on here. That would start moving freight a little faster. All right, we'll get ready on some braking power. And we can load these two. I wish it was three on here. Alright, so we got a hundred of a hundred I think here. We've got logs still in there. That's perfect. Yeah, we got lots of lumber. So these take a little bit to load because it does like each thing at a time. So it's not a fast process by any means. That's why I wish you could almost get three in here, but I don't think, uh, well, you wouldn't probably, oops, you probably wouldn't probably get the third one loaded there unless it was like right here maybe that'd be that'd be pretty awesome you can see all the beams sitting here though hey, we got a lot of wood sitting here that's a lot of wood we brought in so we did well we did really well so far this game is pretty cool isn't it i'm really enjoying it and i'm wondering if you could go up that way and around I wonder where that would take yeah no i'll be too too hilly unless you went way down here and started climbing and then went up and over to the smelter That'd be a heck of a climb, though. Holy smokes, you'd have to start, I don't know, and go around and start bringing it up slowly. All right, we need two more per. We can take beams back, too, but I want to do all the lumber first here. Get rid of that. And they're still going to be making lumber here for us, too. They'll keep the stock until those logs are all gone. So that's good. Because you get 36 per load of beams and 72 per load of lumber, so lumber pays a lot more. Alright, I like to go to the outside view here just so I can keep an eye on things a little better. Well, when you get past here, it makes it kind of difficult. you got to kind of Sort of see the shadows of everything <laughs> go by that. Try to get her to the end here. Should do, I think. I have to pull ahead a little more. Oh no, we should be good there. Seventy-two bucks a load, that's pretty good. Might just take a little walk up through here after. Maybe sort of go around and see what's kind of up on 
this side. Maybe it'd be easier to get to the smelter that way and through. I'm sure there's got to be some little something they've left us here to, to make it easier on us. <clears throat> and then we'll take this back. Now down here somewhere too would be a good idea to put in a, a water tower. Probably somewhere here. If we're going to be here a lot, we're going to need water. <clears throat> and it could be at the other end. It could be here. Uh, hard to say. Down to 80 lumber. They will rejuvenate it eventually. It will <coughs> sort of eventually kind of build up again. <coughs> Pardon me, but make the money while you got it, right? So. We got lots of logs still there, so that's good. That was a good idea getting all those cars. All right, one more here. Sweet. ahead again. Pull ahead in our last two cars and we'll take a little walk about. Should be right about there somewhere. That's a lot of walk. Can you imagine having like 50 cars here? Holy smokes. <laughs> That's why you need someone here. You get that many cards, you need some here helping you. All right, yeah, I want to see if this kind of country's up there. I haven't actually been over there yet. Maybe it'll be easier to go that way. should generate us $432. So if we got 10 cars, 72 times 10 is $720. That'll be a lot faster. But anyways, let's have a walk up here where we're kind of... I think if I brought a line maybe down here, let's go see. Let's go see. It looks like pretty good country so far. <laughs> so far. Come down through this little valley here maybe, but I don't know if we're going to run into something... Oh, it gets so quiet, isn't it? Listen, just listen. It's like silent out in the bush. It's so nice. It's one thing I like about the bush and the forest and stuff. It's so quiet. So, looks like we're going to be so far pretty good here. Now, how far are we? Oh, we got a long way to go. <laughs> it looks like mountains coming up here, so I don't know if this is going to work. If we went way back, maybe, and did like a 3% grade, uh, that might be still too much to get up through here. I don't know. I don't know. I don't think this is going to work in the end here. I think there's going to be, oh, yeah, there's a big, well, let's see, where are we? So we need to start turning about here. Well, there is a pretty big hill here. And... Oh, we still haven't even turned to the smelter yet. So if we went up this hill, I, I don't think we'd scale this. Oh. Yeah, m oh boy, it's getting really... See, I don't know how to tackle this kind of stuff yet. Because we're still... We're still not even turned really yet. So this would be the peaky area here of it. So there are these big caverns. I, I'm not sure yet how to do the the bridges and stuff. We're totally looking the wrong way. We actually need to go this way. So if we could get it up to here, we 
could maybe manage, but I don't know. Like, this is still a long way, long way up. I don't know how you do these bridges for this, but anyways. Then it looks like it's going to get worse. I mean, you don't necessarily have to be way up here, we'll say. Because this is up an awful long way. There's definitely a ridge down here. Let's just walk down to the ridge. See, there's one thing that we need to get in this game is some kind of teleportation thing where you could, like, like farm some, you hit tab, and you go back to the next tractor, right? But So this is getting the right direction, but holy smokes, the, the terrain is just brutal through here. I don't know how we... Yeah, look at this big drop-off here. <laughs> so, like, I can't stretch a, a bridge across there. I'm going to try here, but I don't think it's going to let me do it. So let's just plunk one of them in and plunk. Plunk another little chunk in here. Oh, messed that up. So that's not even going to go out over there. Okay, well, we'll have to try to use that. So the bridge. Oh, it doesn't even like that. Okay. Um. It's so steep there. It is. It, oh well. Wait a minute. It just plunked the hole. But yeah, see, then it just all disappears again. So well, I can see the smelter right down there too. We're uh, quite a piece away from it still, though. I think it's shorter to go the other way. But the the land is well. We'll have to. Uh, I guess what? We'll, oh, I guess we'll have to go look. At some point, but um, yeah, this is definitely not a good way to go I don't think here and anything with snow on it like this you can climb easy but anything without snow you can't climb it it just you will not walk up that so this is definitely a the ridge up here and I don't necessarily think the higher you get the better you get I mean you sure nice views but I don't know if you'd want to get right up here, but somehow these people are the other players are putting in these huge bridges, and I'm not sure how they're doing it because I can't seem to do it. Let's try here, for instance. Uh, we'll see if we can do a bridge from here. It should work to that edge, and then after that, it, it, we won't be able to do it. So, um, I know you're supposed to start with some of this groundwork stuff first. Okay, so that's it, and then bridge is wooden. That's good. That one's in there now because we got enough room, but I think the problem is I, I don't have enough underneath. And they're putting in those barricade things, which I don't know where they're getting that because I, I, I don't have any explanation on bridges in this, which really sucks. I mean, there's groundwork, and then there's these things, but these things make like, you know, like those. That's not what it is so I don't I don't know I'm missing something even the steel trestle they don't even seem to really want to work like I can't squish this one out at all it doesn't go any further than that so a wooden trestle should go out quite a piece but then it's only going so far too right if you try to place that it's still in move mode right so you can't even place that one there, we did that little piece. But now it's going to be getting to the point where those bottoms aren't touching anything. I think that's the issue. See, it won't let me place, place that. And I can't walk out there because then you lose sight of where you are. See, let's, for instance, say, okay, well, let's just bring it out here and we'll, we'll bring it down through here. And then, you know, now we're losing the bottom of our the bottom of our bridge right so then you get tree interference and stuff it's like i don't ex think they're expecting it to walk all the way down through here it just seems strange and i definitely can't place that let's try so i've hit the uh, left click place new point right mouse button and then it yeah it's gone so oh, i don't know i don't know if i'm going to be able to get into this country or not without 
figured out how they're doing these because I don't know nobody seems to tell you anything there's no instruction there's no nothing so but anyways let's head back to our train I know we can do that for today and uh, we'll figure out something else I guess uh, actually you know what I want to kind of back walk here and see if the country's any better down through this oh there's a big waterfall over there see that way way over there that's kind of cool well, let's head to this. I don't really want to go right to the smelter because it's like way over there. But I mean, this kind of country is probably doable. But I know there's some spots you got to get up to these places. You got to do gradients and stuff. I know that. But any bridge stuff? I don't know. Certain height up, and they don't seem to want to to want to do that. It bothers me because I don't like doing jump cuts on my videos and stuff and a lot of people do that and they don't show you those important things of how to do stuff like that it kind of bothers me so the smelter is actually lower than it says on the map here they haven't got that quite positioned right but uh, we'll see if this country is maybe it's got to be flattish over here by the smelter so we'll see if we can get back through there a little better you know, like I try my best not to cut things play the whole entire thing through you know and I know the videos are long but some people like to see that detail of it right where eventually I'll figure out how to do these bridges and then I'll show you how to do them I won't just have a whole bunch of bridges all of a sudden let's go drive this train I mean that's that's really annoying I think so there's a smelter so the smelter needs stuff from the iron ore mine raw iron raw iron and then rails that's a smelter now that's that's interesting. Raw iron. It's got it's got these things for loading. I, I'm presuming you get the raw iron out of these cars here, the hopper cars. Iron ore and coal, yeah. Takers crude oil, crates and tools, yeah. So. I don't know why that's like that. It's a little mysterious. But then over here is where we bring the cord wood. That's for burning the stuff up. And then over here, I don't know if this was anything here. No, oh yeah, this is uh, iron ore. Okay, so we dumped it there. But oh, raw iron. Okay, so that must go. Oh, okay, I think I've got it sort of figured out. The raw iron must go down to the ironworks. Yes, and then that's where they make the rails and stuff. Okay. All right, well, let's walk back here. We'll try to stay along this little ridge where I think they want you to come into. And um, if we go straight, we go to the iron ore mine, but there's a real big valley there, so I think we might have to come back above the smelter word and then down that way. I'm not sure yet, though. We'll have to have a look there someday. Let's walk back through here, and then we'll turn right down here in a little bit hopefully the land stays a little more leveler leveler I like to kind of put a line in here just to experiment too this would be pretty good easy country to do it through here but oh boy when you get to those mountains I don't know <laughs> they got to do some planning for sure so this would come up here a little bit you'd have to do a bit of a rise maybe back there to try to level it off but we're gonna want to turn to the right here really soon and I think that's a fairly smooth run well, it looks like we're gonna have a little bit of a hill here I wish I could get rid of these trees I could just look and see or have a no clip mode or something yeah it looks like we gotta come up through here this would be a fairly easy country Got to turn soon here, though, and get going up here. This will be a bit of a climb and a descent. Oh, yeah, this would be, uh, you need a, a bit of something here because we definitely got to get going this way more. So this would be a little bit of a climb here. You'd have to really give her some good puffing out of the engine there and slowly come down again. Straight through here, I suppose. See, before I went, I wish I had a mouse to show you. I went, um, I turned right here, sort of right behind us, and went that way. Nick is real hairy there. Like, 
like huge valley sort of what we looked in there with that waterfall so it looks like down through this cut here is that right yeah could go that way it's all downhill here but be a bit of a climb but we'd have to get that figured out and maybe do sections or something then try to get up and then level it off a little bit and then up again and level it off a little bit this is definitely all downhill here so we have to figure out what grade we need and then right around here we could just turn through here it's a pretty good country to come through I think here though but some of it's like I say it's just pretty brutal nice big sweeping turn here oh we don't have to go down there do we oh we do I think we do what happens if we keep going this way stay up on the higher spot here looks pretty good we could do a little bridge across here oh yeah you need a let's try a bridge here so start back here with a constant grade you could go right across with that I guess but I like the little bridges so we'll put that there and then we'll do a let's try the steel trestle see I don't understand this how do they expect you to go through see it doesn't even want to draw that in there it's like it's you gotta do little sections or something Okay, so we got that section in. Now I won't be able to climb up this. You watch, I won't be able to get up this. Yeah, see, it won't let you up there. That's another bug they gotta they gotta definitely work that out because there's not everywhere you can get through, right? Alright, well let's try joining again here. And that's gotta snap together nicer, because that's definitely not snapping nice. It's a little better there. Now, is that enough to get right over? Darn near. Okay, we gotta quit messing around here and get some loads in here today. Okay, so I would probably, well, yeah, go a little more maybe. Oh, that snapped in nice, that one. Those only go so far, I guess. And then we need the groundwork. Groundwork. Bring that out. And she kind of feathers right down. Nice. So there's a little bridge we did. That's pretty good. Okay. Well, oh, wait a minute. All right, let's check out. Yeah, so we're almost to the sawmill here. So we just come straight down through here. Catch into our main line. It's somewhere there. Might have to do like a Y split. So if you want to come from one way, you can do one way or, you know, switch one way. Or if you want to come in from the freight yard there, you could come in that way too. Double sort of switchy Y connection thing. And actually, that would make a turnaround, too. If we had the one main line coming through, and then this Y here to this main line, and then Y there. So you could come in with your train, back her down here, and then hit her back out. That would give you a turnaround. That's so simple. I don't know why I couldn't think of that the other day. <sighs> Anyways. We would have to do that down here somewhere where the... Track's a bit straighter, though, because we've got a nice curve here right now. So we'd almost have to do it, like, here kind of thing. I don't know if there'd be room for two of them. I don't know if I'd go this way and then back around or come that way. It'd be nice to have both, but I don't know if we do that or not. All right, let's go get our train going. That's enough pre-planning, but that's sort of what we have to do, I think. That'll get us to the smelter anyways, and I don't know if there's an easier way around down to the iron ore mine, but that's where we got to get first, too. So it's a lot of a lot of country to go through, a lot of work to do there, so uh, keep busy with that. Let's do a little walk around there, though. Give you a little lay of the land, and what we're looking forward to here. 
All right, I think I'm going to put in um, maybe another water tower somewhere, but I need some, probably don't need any wood down here, but I'm going to put in a tower, I think, here. There, that'll give us, oh, someone steal some? Why did that not load that last one? That's weird. Sure, we were ready to go there. Now we are. Okay. So I guess our goal today is to get as much in so we can buy another four cars. So they're 250 a piece. Uh, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah. So two fifty times four. So we need to make a thousand dollars at least today. We only have eighty. So we got a lot of work to do. Check our fires. We've been away for a while. That should be good. Let's just take her easy on these turns here. Well, I think I did this turn better on this one than I did in my my other game. Anyways, all good. Water level is still good. It holds 500 in this, so we're still good for a bit. All right, our lines, our switches should be all good and set. We shouldn't have to slow down or, or anything until we get back to the freight yard there, so. Now, if we got this set up really good, somehow we could just do a complete loop here and have like a second line going back to the freight yard and then we could just keep circling around circling but uh, this will be fine once we get going here and get some moving we don't uh not gonna be too long so we're gonna have to do at least three train loads to get enough to buy the four more cars. Well, that's fine. Shouldn't be a problem. That's our job for today, though. Three train loads. We'll buy four more cars, and then we can start moving some loads. <laughs> move loads to move loads, right? Alright, let's get them going here. back. Hopefully we don't have a derailment. I haven't tried this yet. I'm loaded, pushing back here, so we'll see what happens. Should be alright, though. Once we clear the other track uh, switch here, we'll uh, be good to go. I could probably do a switch off of there. One maybe off, well, somewhere. I'll have to figure out something here. Might only have one way, uh, one switch going to that uh, smelter area. All right, once we clear that, we'll go to maybe 60 and get her ripping. Water 
happens if we put it to 100. I think it's just loud more than anything. It just eats up water like crazy. We get a little more speed out of it. But let's see our, our switch coming up here so we better calm her down a little bit. tight of a turn there, but uh, backing up kind of makes me a little more concerned. It seems to pull better, I think. All right, we'll see if we can do something kind of crazy here. Get her slowed right down here. jump out, let her coast in, and see if we can unload it as it's coming in. Still moving, yeah. So, make sure you're on this side of the train, too, because it'll dump it on the... Hopefully I got the track close enough here. Oh, yeah, we're making money. Just got to make sure you're at the dock here, though, before you start unloading her. for more. Got her all unloaded, yeah. And we've got um, $512 now. Sweet. Actually, that made more money than I thought it would. We're not going to have to do two loads here. We'll have enough for the other four cars. Maybe I'm getting paid more on this than the other one. I was only 72 apiece. Okay, that's good. I'm fine with that. So when we're empty, uh, well, we'll get her going, and then we'll just throttle right back. more money there. Yeah, we did. More money there. When we go back next time, I'm going to just unload one and do the, the differences between them. We should be able to get up here, get this loaded, and get back again without having to water again.
check our fire. We'll probably still grab before we uh, head out again. We're still pretty good yet. Maybe I'll get a switch there. came through here at full throttle. <laughs> the off, the off she goes. Oh, what a mess that would be cleaning all that up again. Snug right about where the engine is there. Not crazy on that little spot. Don't know if the bigger train will have a problem with that or not. Hopefully not, but you never know. All right, you know the loading of it. That part I will cut. It's not super important. You know how to do all that. I've seen, seen that, so we'll let uh, cut that part anyways and we'll see you when we're loaded we're ready to head back for another load all right we're loaded and uh, we're gonna hit her back let's just check the fire uh, we'll put a couple sticks in water about half uh, maybe we'll maybe we'll grab some what well I think we can make it back. We won't know until we fail. <laughs> Try. I think we can make her back here. They got left. Ooh, lots left, eh? Awesome. Awesome amount of logs. Yeah, we got about half a tank. I'm going to try, and we won't be able to get them all here, but we're going to get some, I think. I want to see how much first, how much we get per load. Because on my other game, on my laptop, it's 72 $72 a load. Now, I don't know. It's weird. Uh, let's go out here and see how much. So we've got 512 now. 512 minus whatever we get. And uh, we'll see. But anyways, I want to buy, and we, like I said, we won't be able to get them all at once. Because I don't think the yard will, well, yeah, it should. Six, seven. I want to get five more trailers. So, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 6 more trailers, so we have 12, yeah. Twice what we've got here. I want to see if this thing will haul 12. I think I've had 10 before, and it seemed actually pretty good. But 12? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. We will see. Alright, we'll give her a little bit more regulator. Keep her up speed. It's got a bell on it here, too. I don't know if I've shown you that. Kind of just keeps ringing forever. Get her up to about 40 once we clear here. We'll probably go now. 
get her up slowly here. And this thing seems to handle all the stuff pretty good on flat. A little bit of hill to this little engine, and it struggles, definitely struggles. This is all pretty flat here, though, so, so far we're so good. right here too. Right about here. Let's uh let's just stop a minute, we'll fix this I think here. The little wonky here. I'm not crazy on this little spot, so let's take out here and here and here. This is a little weird too, actually. Okay. Rails, three foot rail. That's a little better. <laughs> Still not 100% perfect, but yeah, that'll work. I'm pretty happy with that. Should track a little nicer. Now, I know we've still got some work to do. Over at the logging area, i got to change that. We're going to do that next time we have to get over there, I think. Cut her right off. That's kind of a cool view. Uh, thing on the bottom here, but I guess I could. Now we're coming in here, though. Better pay attention here, I guess. Alright, let's back her in. We'll just back her in kind of like we normally would. And uh, I think we can pretty much get them all on the dock here. And I'm curious to see how much we're getting per load. Because... We pay. We got paid a lot more the last time here than I should have. So we'll see what we do. So it's kind of hard to see the rear end there, which I say before it'd be nice to have a second player in here looking at this stuff. Okay, let's have a look here now. We are okay. So five twelve. Let's see here. We're. We're 512. Let's sell this one. 512 minus 572. I think that's right. That's only 60. Let's try this again here. 
Oh, wait a minute. That messed up. Five, it wasn't quite done. 584 minus... I'll let this guy finish this time. 584 minus... Okay, you done? Are you done? Are you done? 656. 656 equals, yeah, $72 a load. I didn't think it would be different, but for some reason it paid us more. Maybe because it was our first load? I don't know. Alright, get these unloaded. Gotta back up just a little bit more to get this last one here off. Because if you do it here, it'll just fall in. Not good. Maybe while we're this close to... We will get some water. Because we're going to have a bit of shunting to do in the yard here now. Uh, where are we here? It's hard to line up sometimes. And it's, it's got kind of a mind of its own. What the heck? Should get it there. Is it filling it at all? Holy smokes. No, it's not even touching it. Why is that not working too well now? That's weird. Okay, something's going on with this. Come on, demolish. What is going on with this thing? Let's try. A little bit closer. Dump this off first here, maybe. Okay, so since we yeah, uh, since we have a lot of lumber there now, we're going to get another. Come on, another six cars, I think here. Okay, so reverser 20. Let's go get some more water now. Let's see if it works this time. Okay. Now we should be getting some. Yes. We've got pretty good fire there. That's good. We'll let that fill up. And that'll do it. Okay, so let's have a look here. Um... Uh, this yard's going to be really full of stuff all of a sudden here. Uh, locomotive, so we want the next one, which is 250 times 6. It's 1,500. Do we even have that much? No. 250 times 6 is 1,500. So we got some more work to do. First, I 
thought we did, but okay. Well, I guess we could buy a couple. Um, Two fifty times three. Buy three. So we'll just kind of coast out here and get ready to come back in the yard here. We'll buy those three. And then we can get the other three after. Ooh, this is the one here for cordwood. Taking your cordwood where you need it. Okay, so order that. few more loads too, which is good. Alright. Should be just coming past there now. I'll put a bit of a break on this. We will go and flip the switch. And I can't tell it down there. Looks like we're going to be going to the left, though. Let's put a one of them out there. And, um, I did not do that right. There. So, back her up. The brake's off. it's going to take us, but there should be uh, two cars on the far left, which it looks like we're going to hit first. And there's one in the middle line there. Okay. So that's good. we got to roll back here and get uh, the, the hooks on, too. So we'll hook the back of this first one. We'll hook the second one. And then we should be all back into the last one on this middle line here and, and hook that one up, too. Sure, a lot of work this game. It's pretty neat, though. I am enjoying it, but it is a lot of work. I'm just going to slow that up a little bit. And I'm going to try to run back. It's actually faster if you long, run along the train. Because you're getting the speed of the train and then the speed of your running. Okay, that should be good. We'll let that roll on back. Should be on 100%, yeah. That's good. We'll take, take this one off a little bit. Actually, we'll let him push a little bit. It might still have enough inertia to push all the way back. Okay, so the back of this one needs a hook. Then we'll pull ahead to this line, hook on that guy. Uh, let's make sure we pull all these brakes off. Let's see, I didn't pull it off. Oh, this one too. I wouldn't be able to probably pull that. Well, not very well, anyways. 
All right, hopefully nothing else is unhooked. Sometimes, like I say, uh, I don't know, it's acting weird. All of a sudden you're driving away and one's unhooked. All right. set for that line. Very, very bad problems if you hit that switch and that's going over there. Oof. It's even worse the other way. There's cars going all over the place. I don't know why that's just so relaxing. Oh, don't get on. I don't want to get on yet. I don't know. It's relaxing. Okay, now we'll try to slow this down by putting on a train break here. This guy's switched. And I know some of the passes you gotta go down later on here, you gotta actually put some of them on a little bit to help you slow down. That's the only way you're gonna help slow it down. It doesn't have, like, air systems. You know, like, uh modern train wood. That should start backing up. I think that's too fast. It'll slow down a little bit coming in here. Maybe. Probably start slowing in with one of these cars on brake here. Yeah, they're not terrific brakes on them. They might maybe brake better when there's a more of a load on it. I don't know. Not ready. So weird when you're crouching, it will not let you do a screenshot. Unless you're fast, like I did it there, like a boom, let it right there, you know, and then, <laughs> and then hit it up. Oh, we might not make her back here. She's still rolling, though, so I'm gonna actually we're maybe picking up speed. Weird. Alright, I don't know if that's going to be enough, but I kind of like to be on the other side here while it's. Hooking on. I have to run up and hit the other brake. That should stop it. It's neat how those brakes work. That thing just screws, I guess, and then pulls tight on that and singes them on. Alright, get ready with our. Drop our pin. Stop! It's not too bad. Okay. Oh, still rolling. Actually, I think it probably should... Nah, it's going to stop. So, one... Two... Three... Four... Five... Six, seven, eight, nine cars? Is that right? That doesn't sound right. I better stop this thing here. One, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah. Okay. So I actually need three more. Yeah, that's right. We bought three. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Sorry. I don't know. My brain was not thinking right there. All right. Well, let's go load these up down there. need the generator part or the compressor that's not that's not on this train turn it on does nothing though the generator is a generation generating thing for uh, the lights on the front and back and the compressor is actually a steam driven air compressor for uh, brakes for the train so if you don't run your compressor for a while your air all bleeds out then you all of a sudden you got no brakes so it's kind of a neat thing all right, water's good. Let's check the fire. It's probably... I uh, could use a couple of sticks. Yeah, that'd be good for a wee bit. All right, we need to change this again, too. I'll try to run and catch the back of the train. Uh, they do have a caboose in here too, which it's, I think, 500 for it or something. Get one of those at some point. I didn't leave any behind even. Nice! So that'd be kind of cool if you had a caboose, someone else running the train. You could just jump in the caboose and wait there until you get there. That'd be awesome, actually. I'd do it. but I think we'll be all right. Yeah, they all swung around there pretty good. probably do is one of these. Alright, once we get down here, I'll start loading again and uh, pause for that part of it. And, uh, and we'll uh, run on back with that load. And that'll probably be it for today. we got we got a lot more of that to do. I don't know whether I'm going to actually film all of it. I mean... If you guys want me to, I, I will, but if you'd rather not see that part and kind of wait until, you know, we get some money built up and bring the beam. we got to do beams, too, you know, so it's going to be a lot of work. That's why I'm trying to get more cars. The more cars built up, the more we can, the uh, faster we can get that back, the more money we can make. So I wanted to get 12 to start with here anyways and see how that hauls all that. It's pretty good. Well, maybe we'll go to, like, 15 and 20. 20 cars would be a forever loading, but... I think that would work pretty good. And I think I could get one switch off of that guy there to head that way, but I don't know. May rechange this again here, too. I don't know. Not sure what I want to do here. So we'll see how many uh, planks lumber we have left. We don't have a whole lot left. We'll uh, load the rest with some beams and take them back. That doesn't pay us nearly as much. The lumber is a lot, lot nicer pay, but uh, they still have 
quite a few logs sitting there, but I think they want me to get rid of some of these beams and they'll keep working and I think if they one thing gets full they kind of sort of stop filling both. And I think we were down to 30 something. Was it 30 something here for, for lumber? I just, I just don't remember now, but maybe we should just do a load of beams here. Doesn't look like there's a whole bunch of lumber sitting out there. Get rid of some beams and then they'll start working again. Yeah, let's do a load of beams. We did some lumber today. Let's do a load of beams. Nice. Oh, don't derail there, bud. A little weird spot there, too. So we'll load beams, I'll do a couple here for you, and then I'll load the rest, and then we'll uh, take her back. Yeah, because I think we're, we're, well, we got a few lumbers there, but yeah, we're down to 28. Yeah, I, th I thought it was around 30. So I think once we get rid of this, they'll start cutting more. We'll have to watch that, it's 28, we'll have to watch. And yeah, see, now we're up to 30, so they've already started, yeah, see? So they, they want you to, to do both, they don't want you to just, uh, you know, Forward all that stuff, I guess. All right, we'll pull ahead. I'll get the rest of this loaded, and uh, we'll see at the end here what number we're up to. Already up to 31. So yeah, look at that, eh? We gotta share the load, I guess. So, all right, we'll pull ahead here, and uh, how are we gonna do this here? Pull this way, I guess. Pull ahead here. Just gonna leave a bit of that regulator on. I don't know if beams are any heavier than the lumber, but I don't know, it's hard to say. Okay, we'll be right on back and we'll have a whole load of beams. All right, our load of beams is loaded and look at this, we're already up to 55 on the uh, on the lumber again. So it does build up, but you gotta keep Sharing the, sharing the loads, I guess. So that one was already up to 100 of 100. So they got a lot of beams sitting there. Well, that's good. So we'll do uh, this load, I guess, today. And uh, yeah, that took a little bit to load that, but. I think they must go on strike <laughs> when you get. Uh, one thing full they want you to take from the other side too so all right let's just uh, back her up slow here check the fire uh, yeah she's getting down a little bit I'll brighten her up a little bit maybe one more Ooh, I look through there I'm like oh what's wrong with that track out the window <laughs> That's actually a pretty neat effect. That's like the old style. Looks fine out here, but yeah, it's just a glitch, I think. <laughs> old style glass. How is our stock of firewood? Yeah, we're still pretty good yet. You can only hold five at a time, so it's kind of a good thing to... After you use a little bit of it, try to get it you know, stock back up, so we might do that when we get back up here. You know, it won't be super close to the firewood depot, though. Not over there. Um. Anyways, <clears throat> we'll have to get uh, maybe a little bit to stock her back up. She starts moving along even at 10% after, you know, a certain amount of time. It takes a bit, but she starts moving along, which is pretty good. So we're not going to make a whole bunch of money from this, unfortunately. Uh, 
Yeah, I still don't like this little right here. It's not good. It needs to come out first and then, oh boy, I don't know what to do there. I'm not even sure if we're actually going to use that line. I don't, I don't know. I don't know what we're going to do with that. But anyways. All right, we'll head her back with some beams. There's a lot of back and forth we got to do here. That's why we want to try to get our train as long as we can. And it seems to be handling this actually really good. It's all, it's all level here, though. So once you get a roll in it, it should be fine. But this little guy wouldn't do well dragging stuff up to the big mines, I don't think. So we're going to have to do a bunch of work here to try to get some money built up to get into the next train. Which is a lot of work, let me tell you, because uh, our next train, uh, their trains are kind of strange here because that's uh, tier, well this little thing's kind of cool, the tier one, little pump car thing. I don't know if there's any point in doing to this one. All this one seems to have is just more capacity for uh, wood, like you put the wood still down here, and then there's a little spot here for wood. I don't understand why they have that wood in there, because everything else is the same. It's expensive, too. So that's the next one, and it holds a whole bunch of wood. Of course, all back here, and then the water tank's back here. This is actually the one I'm into now, and I just barely got it, too, so I don't really haven't done a whole lot with it yet but it seems pretty good but 5600 it's tier 3 tier 4 a little bit bigger 5600 same price a little bit bigger engine a little bit different styling now, cookie <laughs> actually cook but not cookies fine it looks funny um, you gotta look here at the tractor effort too right that's how much it'll push um, 4300 a little bit cheaper for that tier 5 though then you go more and it's tier f wait a minute that's a that's a I've never seen that one before I don't think maybe I have yes I have yeah tier 5 but then we're down to tier 3 again which is only 2900 so maybe we'd go with something different like this I don't know tractor effort of course is important that seems to be it for for trains so anyways yeah. I'm pretty sure there'll be more come out eventually, or mods come out or something. For it, no doubt. Let's get her going here. We're going to need water sooner. We're just coming up to about half a tank again. She eats up a bit. I guess we kind of rush back to this place pretty good, too. Used up a bit of water. Oh, see, look at that. It just unhooked itself. I did not touch a thing. I don't know why it's doing that. I'm going to have a train come flying back here. Am I, or did I put the brakes on in that train? Yeah, I must have. Uh, yeah, I did start to break it. I don't know why it's doing that. <clears throat> it just let go on its own. Like, I was back there, but I didn't touch the hitch. <laughs> I'd like to review that and see what happens. Like, see, it's kind of all messed up here. So, interesting. If I put it back in, yeah, see, it's all messed up. Well... Interesting to see if that'll actually hook back onto the train. I bet you it won't now. 
bet you it won't hook back on. Yeah, they randomly unhook like that, which is really weird. Oh, darn it. I gotta get this pin out of this one. Both pins were in, though, so... What happens there? I don't know. Well, she did hook back up. Okay. It's just a, it's just a bug, I think, but that's not a good thing when you're going up a mountain, let's say. That's a really, 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 really bad thing when you're going up a mountain. So, uh, I'm not going to look at how much we're going to make of this, because it's not going to be a whole lot. Yeah, we're going to be a while with beams. <clears throat> I kind of like to keep the beams there, because I know they need beams at a lot of other places. Get rid of the lumber, but it looks like you got to kind of do a bit of both, so... I guess we better go back and get another load of beams, though. How's our water looking? Yeah, we're down about a half. Maybe we better top her up, too. Might as well, I guess, while well, we got it right here. Somewhere down at the other end there, too, I think I better put in a uh, place for uh, firewood place, firewood depot. Okay, that should be filling. That's good. Check the fire while that's filling. All right, that should be good. Good. Okay, make sure everything's off here because we had to mess with things. I think we're all good. Yeah, I think we're fine. Um, okay, let's head her out again. So we are up to now 518. Yeah, do too bad there. <clears throat> more trailers or more cars, the better. So we'll bring this load in, then maybe we'll buy that other three. We'll get her up to 12. Uh, next time we get together, maybe we'll do a load of 12 here and see what we can bring in. Should have a bunch of planks lumber by then. So for right now, it's not even going down the water level. <laughs> Good. She will soon, though. Fire temperature 400. Water temperature 110. I guess that's Celsius. Probably in Celsius. Boiler pressure 120. Pretty good pressure. 
I'm not sure how they get the water temperature to 110, though. It doesn't really go much over boiling, but I guess it will. Some when it's under pressure like that. Next week, too, we've got to get looking at that uh, spot over by the sawmill, too. I'm not really liking that. I'm trying to get up into there. Try to go at it a little straighter, I think. We'll have to do a bit of a grade down, I guess. One percent is probably about all this thing will handle, especially pushing all those cars up the hill. Let's see if what happens if we go in here a little faster on this turn. We end up derailing. Well, that'll be it for today. Cause that's a lot of messing around to get everything all lined up again, especially in there on the curves and stuff. It's really hard to re-rail something on a curve. We're not exactly going full throttle, but we're going a lot faster than we normally would. Just kind of want to see how it handles everything here. If we don't derail, well, we'll get more beams and take them back. The beams aren't too bad to load. It's only three per car, so like three loads per car, so it's not terrible bad. So that's good. So they're either going to come around here nice or they're going to go flying off. Derail themselves. Let's turn right here. With that. Mm, didn't handle that super too bad. It's a little one right here too though. Actually, didn't do too bad. But we overshot. We were coming in way too fast. All right, let's let some beam float it up. I'll, uh, Film this maybe before we'll just keep rolling here. This doesn't. This won't take too too long. The other ones are a lot longer. What are we up to here now? Oh boy, 56. Okay, let's keep an eye on that. Sounds like they're sawing again there. So, oh, well, they're getting down on logs so. though. Only got a few left, so they'll end up using them up here. That's weird. Should be pretty much level here. Pulled ahead a little bit more, I think. Oh, not too bad there, I guess. Yeah, a little off. Might have to do some more loads of logs next week, too. 
Because I'm telling you, we got to do a pile of work here to get enough to buy the next train. And get ourselves advanced. We're, we're not going to make it up those things to the other mine whenever we get that far. We're never going to make it up with this little train. This is good for this light stuff or shunting stuff around the yard. That's really about it. Coasting itself. I think that sh should work there. Oh, no. Hit a little more. Uh, might be alright. Should have hit a little bit more. Far, yeah, we're far off. <laughs> yeah, long way off. Luckily, it'll glitch itself on. to tell when we get 12 on there it's almost going to be impossible to see yeah, it should have come up I have to come up another 6 or so feet here sometimes you can use the shadows and see where the like the sun's coming through there but uh, sometimes it doesn't work either yeah back there doesn't work so well uh, okay well I'll just come up another up to about here somewhere Maybe somewhere in around there. <coughs> we need a little, <coughs> pardon me, we need a little marks <laughs> on the thing here. Always gets you out the wrong side, too, which is weird. You always got to swoop around. Oh, 66. Nice. We'll have enough for a load soon. All right, that should be a little better there now. A little bit more in the middle. Ah, still not far enough ahead. Darn it. <laughs> it's all good. Still got, uh, oh, down to 90 beans. That's good. They must be running out of lumber there. Let's see. How's the logs looking? Oh, yeah, they're right out now. So, okay. So we'll have to do some more logs next week, I guess. I like to keep that stocked up. So hopefully with this load, we might have enough to buy the last three cars we wanted to get. We need another 750. Um, okay, <clears throat> pull ahead for the last car there. I think a firewood depot right there would be good. <clears throat> That'd be all right. <clears throat> Man, pardon me. <clears throat> Man, sorry. All right, so firewood depot there, but we would need another line, actually, funny enough to come up. I might just reposition that one a little bit and bring them out in behind as our extra spur there. It's not going to be long enough for these ones anyways now. Um, because we need another line that would go up the back side of the thing if we wanted to restock that one. With firewood. And, uh, yeah, so, okay. Let's put that there. So we'll get this. We'll maybe do that before we leave here. Put a firewood depot in there. And, uh... We're going to have 
a stock of firewood down here too then. With a line to bring in wood though. It's wood right here, but <laughs> still have to load it and take it over there. I'd probably just bring in some logs. That would keep that thing stocked up. Alright, let's do that while we're here. So cool. Oh. Demolish rails. And we'll come straight off here a little wider. Let's put the depot in here. Uh, Fighter Wood Depot. There we go. So we've got to do the line up the far side here. And uh, we'll start here, maybe. Let's start here. here and that one comes straighter off of here now too would be better might have to rework a little bit here Good. We better go a little longer here, though, or we're going to end up in trouble here. There's our stop. Now let's take out... Ooh, yeah, should be able to get these ones out. Follow my train. Okay, so we need whoa. Well, we need wood. We just bring her here, and then it'll stock this up. It'll put a bunch of cordwood in here, which I guess eventually it changes into this stuff. But anyways, let's grab armful here. We'll take her back. Top up our wood here. Get this coasting backwards here. Run back, grab another armload of wood. I think it takes a while to reload that. So I've done one on my other game and it hasn't really done anything yet. That should be good. Let's grab a couple of sticks here, maybe. Oh, we'll get back here. <laughs> Just to put it in the fire. Fire hot. Perfect. All right, we'll head her back today and hopefully have enough. We need 750 for uh, three more cars, and that should bring us 12. But that's not good. Holy cow. And then we can actually start bringing back some some wood. Yeah, we should. Should get enough from this. Let's see how we make out. Let's hit her back. Let's say goodbye to the guys. We'll get you some more uh, lumber there next week, there, boys. Or some more logs.
Should have pushed those cars up over to here, maybe <coughs> out of the way. Because now I'm going to have to uh, put these cars somewhere, too. I just don't think I want to push those cars back up that hill. It'd be better to pull them up over the hill there until we get that fixed. Some work on that. Pitch this time. Still there. Back already. Nice. Love it. Start on load. Hopefully we can get up to 750. Spend all the money again. That's what we gotta do, I guess though. Should have gone back a little bit more. It's hard to tell. Hard to tell. No backup cameras. <laughs> okay. I need a well less than hundred now. Yeah, we'll get we'll get her here. We'll get 750. <clears throat> Easily. Lovely. Awesome. Alright, back her down here. These other four off, and then we'll pull ahead and leave these cars here, I guess. Back in. Buy those other ones and hook them all up for today, and then we'll head her down next time there, and uh, we're going to need a longer track there, I think. <laughs> it's going to be a problem. I back all these down here, I'm going to be pulling them off the track. Okay, that should be good. Hit the brakes. All right, there's our 750. So that's good. While we're down here, we'll extend 
this a little bit, I think. Probably to the end here will be fine. Should be anyways. That's eventually going to go down to the... Uh, oh, no. That's going to go down to our uh, oil field, iron works, refinery kind of area. All right, that should give us enough room. Let's get these cars bought. We're going to watch them spawn on the track here. Um, okay, so we need another three cars. Well, we've actually done pretty good, you know. I think I've gotten further faster with uh, this game than my other laptop games. Seem to take forever. Get enough money built up. I think it's the key is you got to get more cars as soon as you can. And locomotives. How much do we got left? 92. Okay, well, that's that's the end of that then. <laughs> All right, so we'll put... Uh, which way we got coming here first? Yeah, we're going to be over here, so we'll put... That one there. That one there. And then this... That one there. Okay, let's get the loco here. We'll just pull ahead a little bit. And we'll back down and get everything all hooked up for today. And uh, next week, more lumber. We're going to have to get more logs, I think, to bring over. be nice to get more logs, too. But uh, coming down that hill, I don't... Uh, I guess we got brakes on the cars. That would be all right, but... See, look at that pins out there. See that? Why did that do that? Why am I rolling away here? This should be... Wow, there's some weird, weird, weird things happening here. Let me tell you. Well, I don't know. Water's spit down too, so let's uh, let's redo that maybe. Got water over there, I guess. To yeah, we got water over there, don't we? Two water towers. Got lots of water towers. I don't know why we got so many, but anyways. Um, okay, well we'll just do it over there. Uh, let's go here and here. Little Betsy. That'd be cool if you could hook two of them together. And you probably could hook two of them together, but you'd never be able to drive two of them together exactly se sequentially. Like, you know, that would not kind of work like that. Oh, Betsy. Good little engine. It's actually fairly strong for the size of it. It does work really well. Come on, Betsy. All right, we'll go pick up these cars, and then we'll come back here and stick them on those cars, and then next week we'll head back and find somewhere to park those and probably bring a couple of loads of logs in, I think. Keep those guys stocked up. If we don't get logs brought in, we get no uh, lumber speeds to come out, so we're going to keep that fully stocked. That acted weird again there. I don't know. It keeps dropping its pin. Weird. All right, looks like we're going to go left first here, so we can get water too. Coming a little hot here, but uh, we don't have the same inertia as all those cars pushing 
against. So, see how we break here or not. Lovely. Okay, let's just make sure I've got a pin ready there. We're really close to water here. I'll just pull ahead a little bit. We'll grab some maybe. Creeping ahead slowly. Oh, it went too far. Stop. Okay, let's top her up. She goes through water pretty quick. Oh, no. Too much. Oh, my goodness. That ought to be filling there. Oh, yes. All right, that'll do. Get in the train. <laughs> Glitch. All right, we will go pick up the other cars here, this other car, and then hook to the other cars, and we're good for next week. Should be awesome. to go. That guy there, that guy's right. Go ride the car back. Now these tracks in here you can't delete. Won't let you do that, which is interesting. Um, <clears throat> the place down here though, the oil field, we can take beams down to there. But you get the same amount of money for, for taking them here. So at this point I don't really see a point because we're not going to get anything else out of that. But you could take beams and stock them up. I guess we could run a line down there, at least get that stocked up, so it's stocked up when we're, you know, getting close to... We have to get the... Uh, oil field will make the oil and then take it to the refinery. Okay, that one hit pretty hard there. Okay, let's head her back up to the main line there again. Oh, 
hook them all up, and we'll have 12 cars pulling down there next week. Next time we get together, it's going to be awesome. Let's check our fire. Yeah, we're good for now. I'll just stock it up before we head out again. Fire temperature is still 400 fuel. There's a bit of fuel left there, so it's still keeping it pretty warm. This switch I'll probably hit here when we go past. There's a bit of a dip here, isn't there? Looks like it, but it doesn't look like it's there. Twelve cars. I've never had twelve cars behind this thing. It should hopefully handle it. We'll see what happens, I guess. Alright, we'll ride down here to do the other switch. Speedwalker, Speedwalker, hardly moving walker. That's kind of funny, isn't it? <laughs> We're going walking speed. Well, we've done pretty good today. I think we brought... Uh, Whoa, a bit of money in anyways, and uh, now we can actually start working towards the next engine, too. Get our next engine bought. That's going to be a lot of work, though, because 5600 and something to buy that thing. So it's, it's going to be a fair bit of work. But now we got all the cars, we should be able to make money pretty quick here, as long as we keep the logs in stock there. Which we'll pull all these down next week and park them there somewhere. We might even do a... Now we'll figure out something. I'm going to have to... Uh, I'll probably just park them over by where we load. That'd work. Then I can zip around and back in, and then we'll be heading straight up to the logs. Yeah, that'd, that'd, that'd work. Okay, better make sure we got ready here. Yeah, everything's good. She might hit a bit hard here. Hope it doesn't derail something. Maybe put a brake on on this. We had that one on. I'm going to put this one on too. She's coming in fast. Oh boy, don't derail, please. She hit pretty quick there. <laughs> Guys, stop. Okay, that one's off. That one's off. That one's off. That one's off. The way we're rolling there, I think we're good. All right. Well, let's put the train brake on. I want to keep going here today, but I will better. We better quit here, I guess. So, anyways, that's it for today. There's our 12 cars. Oh boy. We did really well. Let's just make sure we got them. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Hopefully we got enough room. Yeah, we should be fine on that line there now. Or we got to come back a little bit more yet, but I think we should be pretty good. Oh, yeah, we'll have lots of room back there. Oh, yeah, tons of room. Okay. All right, well, that's it for this week. Thanks again for watching. Hopefully you're enjoying the Railroad Online. It's been pretty good, but uh, we got some challenging stuff coming up for sure. we just got to do a whole bunch more wood here, to, uh, and we should get it pretty quick with this many cars. Uh, and we'll buy our next train, and then we can start thinking about heading over to uh, up into the smelter kind of area and around coal mine, iron ore mine. It's going to be a lot of work. But anyways, that's it. Thanks again for watching. We'll catch you all later, and you guys have a good day. Happy railroading.